So I'd like to take a couple of minutes to talk about what it's like studying computer science at Cardiff University. My name is Martin. I'm the Director of Learning and Teaching here at the School of Computer Science and Informatics. I'm going to talk about all our degree programmes today. So that's the BSc Computer Science, the BSc Computer Science with Security and Forensics, the MSI Computer Science, and also our BSc Applied Software Engineering programme taught at the National Software Academy. Now the three computer science options are also available uh, with an extra year between years two or three, where you can either undertake a paid placement with the year in industry variant, or go and study computer science somewhere else in the world on the year of study abroad option. There's some flexibility with our degree schemes, so there's some opportunity to move between the different degree schemes. Now with the BSc Applied Software Engineering, this is quite a distinct program, so it's not usually possible to complete year one of that program and then swap into the computer science or vice versa. But for the other programs, that flexibility is there. They share a common first year. So if you're on the computer science and you wanted to swap to the computer science with security and forensics, that's usually possible. The same with the MSI computer science. Um, the one caveat to that is that the MSI computer science does require uh, quite good mathematical skills. So if you were going to transfer into that program, you would either already need a maths A level or you would need to have shown that you have good mathematical knowledge by performing well in one of the maths modules within the computer science program. All of our programs are BCS accredited, which means you can achieve chartered status with the BCS without having to take as many of the tests or exams that you would have to take to get that status if you were undertaking a non-accredited program. We're very proud here at Cardiff to say that we are a research-led institution and in the school we're exceptionally proud that the research that's happening in the school really is at the cutting edge of computer science. So the research that's being done by our professors, by our lecturers, is really at the forefront of the computer science field and we're working in a number of areas that are really important today. Data science, artificial intelligence, cyber security, human factors, visual computing, these are all domains of computer science that are having a massive societal impact that are making a real difference in the world. We also recognise that computer science is not just about academic research, but many students will be going out from our degree schemes into industry and working in the field. And so we need to be aware of the industrial skills that are needed, things like project management, team working, the ability to develop, create, maintain, document software systems that are fit for purpose, that are robust. So we keep both the research and the industry in mind when we're thinking about our programmes, when we're designing our programmes, when we're teaching on our programmes. The way we think about it is that our computer science courses are research-led, industry-informed. So they lean a little bit more towards the research side, the cutting-edge computer science, with an eye on the skills that are needed for industry. Whereas the Applied Software Engineering course is really industry-led, research-informed. So that focuses on those industrial skills, uh, but also brings the research into the classroom so you get to see some of that as well. So on all of our programmes, we're looking at a mix of technical, analytical skills, the ability to programme, obviously, the ability to design, develop, maintain systems, and that's systems of any size, from small little apps built of a couple of scripts on your machine to large-scale systems that run across the world. The key thing that we're teaching really is problem solving. The ability to think like a computer scientist, the ability to take a problem, to break it down, to solve each of those smaller problems and build the solution up and deliver something that is robust fit for purpose, does what it's supposed to do. Of course, it's not just about academic skills. It's not just about those industrial skills. There is a wide range of things to get involved in when you're at university. So as a school, we run an undergraduate computer club where students have time, space and some funding to work on extra projects. So things outside of the classroom, things that don't count towards the final degree in terms of marks, but things that are interesting and things that allow students to develop skills. So in previous years, the computer club has 
done things like bought drones that they can um, build apps for to try and control them. They've bought VR goggles that they can use in combination with those. They've purchased 3D printers, those kind of things. One of the big uh, groups going on at the moment in the undergraduates is a driverless racing car in combination with the School of Engineering, where they're programming the AI to drive a car around a track without somebody sat in it. There's also opportunities to get involved with things like STEM ambassadors. So the STEM ambassadors scheme is where we have students from the school going out into primary schools, secondary schools, and infusing the, the children there about STEM, about computer science, showing them what it's like, teaching them how to code, sometimes even teaching the teachers how to code. Um, we also have the opportunity for students to become university mentors. So the transition from school to university can be tricky. Every first year is offered the chance of having a mentor to help them through that transition. And then once you've made it into the second year or the third year of your course, you can do the same for other students following after you. So we recognise it's not just about the things that you're going to learn while you're on the programme, but that there needs to be a whole bunch of other things around that, things that you can do that can develop you into that broader person that is going to be able to go out and get the career that you want when you've finished your degree programme. So that's a little bit about studying computer science at Cardiff University. Uh, if you have any more questions, please get in touch.